All right. All right. Alaric, here what? Introduce yourself quick so everybody know who you are. All right. I'm Alaric Wellington, um, graphic artist, 3D artist. Um, I like to just call myself a creative professional or a creative entrepreneur. All right, cool. And I know I usually introduce myself, but I'll do it tonight. Uh, so I'm Kevin Jackson, uh, the outgoing president of Jan. And for those who don't know what Jan is, Jamaica Animation Nation Network. That is the Animation Association for Animators in Jamaica. And pretty much we, you know, we try to create and look for opportunities for our members. And we try to keep them informed of everything that's going on in the animation industry. We try to provide networking um, tutorials, you know, all manners of things that have to do with animation and development of, of, of animators. So basically right now what we're doing, this is like, a, this is going, usually these videos are interviews. So I'm going to kind of, this time it's a mix of an interview and a walkthrough of this rig that you created. So for those who don't know, I created a character sticks and sticks 2D, 2D drawing of this character that I imagined and Alaric saw it and decided to do a 3D model of it right? and rig it up and so on and pretty much make it available for people to use. Alaric, I don't know if you want to get into, you know, that whole, um, the details right. of why you did it. All right, sure, really quickly. So, um, I was looking through the John group and I was like, John always has some one-off interesting projects. Um, but I saw where there were opportunities to collaborate. Um, and this was one of them um, because I saw your, your post of the character. I think I was trying to get some practice in 3D modeling myself and I was looking for references online, but I said to myself, it's like, does it make sense if I make props like a fan, a model of some Super Mario or something like that? That really wouldn't go anywhere and it really wouldn't build towards uh, a creative IP. So I uh, saw your model uh, with, and with your permission, I used it as reference to create a 3D model of your character design and i did that so just to demonstrate the idea i had in my mind where instead of we of us going to external sources for inspiration then instead of doing that we would feed back from in the group somebody does something we go in that group and then we it's almost like tree roots or we create something from that and then that way we're developing each other's ip and we're doing it in a way that um is kind of free range collaboration. So if you see something interested in, hey, help out that creator. And so, you know, it it, it, it helps out each other. Not everybody going to be able to do everything. So, and that was the idea I had. It's almost like crowdfunding with skills. So um, instead of just posting something in the group, a few people say, hey, that looks cool. And then it goes down a memory hole. If we see something interesting, um, as uh, I saw your, your character design. And here he is. Hey. Yeah, it was good. He had a picture queued up. So yeah, I saw this and I was like, hey, uh, I don't know how serious you were about developing the idea, but I, I saw it and, and, I, and I like the idea, the character. So I said, all right, let's contribute my skills to further develop this character. And yeah, that, that was the idea. So instead of going externally for inspiration, I searched within the group and right. thus we, we expand, expand each other's um, intellectual properties. Mm. Okay, cool. And I mean, I pretty much design this. I do really like doing sometimes these little one-off pieces, especially like martial arts characters, because I have a martial arts background and I really love, you know, coming up. I was, you know, always trying to think of, you know, what would a Jamaican hero look like? 
um, this guy kind of mixed him up with like different um, ethnicities, you know. Mixed yeah, race. it's kind of hard to play. Right, yeah. but you know, I just kind of was doing this to kind of practice my line work and practice my digital coloring because I, I really ever really digital colored when I try. It's like the hardest thing ever. So I was mm. really trying to say, all right, let me get it done. It's definitely still not perfect, but you know, it's an improvement from what I had done before this. Like this is one of my favorite characters. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Like I was just drawing, and but this perspective just came to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and just yeah, I really liked it. You know, it's funny. Uh, I do have an Instagram account, but I haven't posted anything. Um, it's kind of like half intimidation because the people I f- I follow, they kind of really. They go, they post interesting stuff. So if I want to post stuff, I feel like I have to match them. And I think I don't like giving away my ideas for free. <laughs> Done. Yeah. So, more so more time when I out the ideas, I just shop on Instagram. It's like, okay, let's see what we have here. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Let's get this all back rolling. Uh, for some reason, I just really like that beer. Yeah, um, I love that beer. It was done for a jam competition years ago. Okay. We were. It was called the Mechanimals Challenge. So you had to mix some something mechanical with an animal. Okay, that was interesting. It was. I think I was working on that beer in in the middle of the night, close to the deadline. All right, so let's get back to this rig now. So basically, you've created this as a community rig, right? Yeah. Pretty much anybody can use this, and you know basically the only caveat is that anybody who uses it has to credit you for the model and has to credit me for the the design yeah exactly right? um i like what you did here tell us why why did you go low poly all right so uh the reason why i went low poly and, and i do explain this in the, the tutorial is that i wanted anybody to be able to open it up and use it um, mm-hmm. also stylistically I kind of like that sharp angles, you know, like Gendy Tarkovsky. Right. That kind of character design. So I I thought that would be a good marriage between that type of character design, even though yeah. I was refer- referencing your um, character concept. Mm-hmm. I wanted to make it a new, a new uh, going in, I wanted to make it low poly. All right. Um, because before the computer have no which is kind of better so a gaming pc i had it like a really old windows and doing anything on that above a certain certain amount of vertices was really slow but um i could still do some kind of highly stylized stuff so i said all right i'm going to make it low poly but if i'm going to make it low poly at least make it look good what style can i do to make it look good and be low poly and so like then they had the style so i was like all right cool and then your character has this interesting feature and he really helped me out with it because he has like these cheekbones and i remembered um i had based it on another character design that had kind of like a stylized flat face right and you're saying yeah the face is kind of flat so i said all right let me go back to it and i like i took um, references from a bunch of black persons and like how cheekbones would look in real life and it, all right so i kind of have something similar so if you look directly at my face my face kind of looks wide but as you angle it the kind my face kind of cascades outward so my mouth is like mm-hmm. a little bit out so when i discovered that it's like wow i can have this like this new detail and then it would still have even if you bring up the your character concept right now yeah see so you like like i said I, re- I really like the kind of here looking face with like the jawline so i really wanted to catch that but like again when i when i first attempted to just make it flat it it, it just won't work as a real face but i revisit it and, and i do get that flat look from the front and then that kind of angular more realistic view from the side so i was really happy with how that turned out um so oh funny enough the weirdest thing um the hair is reversed because when i imported the image as a reference in the it flipped everything 
So you'll notice um, the model and your character design, that locker here is on the next side because the image, the image reference was reversed. So <laughs> it's an interesting detail. Oh, yeah, 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 I see it, yeah. I see it. <laughs> Alright, so, so let's jump into the model. Yeah, man, let's jump into the model. Alright, so what do I do first? Alright, so let me just tell you a few more features that I added. So some of the cool stuff that is there is like um, the materials for the bag strap and the, the jacket, the hoodie, has yeah. this have uh, set up the 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 tech the material for it to have the screen tone effect so you'll notice as you scroll you uh, use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out that texture stays the same so it's almost like a 2d screen tone so no matter how okay. far and, and what i like about it no matter how distant you are from the character you still get an idea of what material is where so right. you zoom out now you'll still see that material there so it's a little bit of pixel matte, but it, it, it I think it worked out great. All right, next thing. So, um, all right. So I'll I'll show you the layers now. So, cool. Um, in the um, in the top right hand corner, you'll see what you refer to as collections. Yeah, and you can good. you can turn and and to the the right of that you'll see I an icon. Yeah, right. so you have the bag on the backpack on one layer, and you have sticks on one layer. The cool thing about that too, you can uh, also have the clothing um, on different um, layers in effect. So if you click the jacket, so you can click the, the oh, curve, you can hide that. Oh, cool. That's yeah, sweet. and That's sweet. All right. But, but, but we'll have one more thing. So hide the, hide the jacket. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, no, let me do this. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, so, so the reason why I do that is that you can't have those kind of training under the waterfall, montage, right, right, right. stuff like right. that. So. Okay, so I can hide the undershirt and I can hide, hide the bag. Oh, where's the bag? Where's the bag? Oh, let me the just collapse this. Right, so we have our outdoor guy and we can hide the Kali bamboo because the bamboo can't just be staying there and thin air. Yeah. Oh, do it all have nipple stuff. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting anatomically correct now, eh? Exactly. The belly button, where is the belly button? Ah, uh, yeah. The belly button, yeah, and there's, there's a small shadow. There's a small shadow to indicate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So. No, but yeah, man, it's still pretty cool. Still pretty yeah. cool. So, I hope so we I can't take off the pants though, right? That's not, I that's know, not. I know. We can't, we can't. Like I said, I imagine the uses for it. And it's like, hey, there has to be like this <laughs> push-up montage, you know, those crazy montage. Like, right, right, right. And two fingers, so it's like, hey. I, oh, and the shoes are definitely a stay because... I get I you, I get you. There's some flexibility. Yeah, I wasn't going to get into the toes and stuff like that, so. All right, so let's start with the um i guess the posing then so the rig so right now the rig is um invisible so to me to okay, me all right so you're going to go to your viewport overlay settings so click the 3d window where that they know oh, hey man. already like the main window all right so you see that word global right to the the, the top no, no, no. Where the model is? Where the model is? Where the model is? Oh, yeah, all right. all right, cool. All right, so you're going to go to your right. My right. Mm -hmm. More to your right. All right, there's going to see like a blue icon with two circles overlapping to your right. More over to, to the next set. More no. over to the right. Huh? No, oh, I've gone to too far. No, man, to the corner of the screen, to the top right. Yeah, yeah, you're just there. Where the blue is. That one, so click the donor oh, right. one side that, yeah. So that that's just kind of overlays. Um, I see what you're saying, yeah. So it has, um, um, you can also, all right, just really quickly, you can check wireframe. The one at the bottom is the geometry, you can check wireframe, yeah. Check. 
So that way you can select how the model is made. And mm-hmm. then you can, you can also check statistics. Go, go. Right. Yeah. So that's 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 nice because it gives you information how many vertices you're using, stuff like that. So okay. uh, we don't need the wireframe anymore, so you can uncheck that and then you can check bones. As you decurse against the bones. Alright, cool. Alright, so, so that's the controls now. Yeah. So to pause it, you would select the controls and then in the top left hand corner. No, you see right above where statistics are. Yeah, you see object mode. Alright, you're gonna change that to pause mode. Right. Yeah. Alright, so it this um this rigify add-on gives you tr- um three different groups of controllers it gives you ik fk and it has tweaks so right now is in i um inverse kinematics f i k mode mm-hmm. so you can click, you can click any controller and order the box or anything and you can move it you can click yeah, it will highlight in blue when you can manipulate it. So you can press G and just move your mouse around when it's selected. G to grab and just... Oh, don't oh. worry, don't worry, don't worry. All right, you come out of, you can come out of pose mode. Or is it the box that I need to control for that? No, no, just come out of pose mode really quick and go back to object mode. All right. Um, you're going to select the the brown his hand. All right. So you're going to go into the properties that is on the the right side of your screen, and you're going to you see where that wrench icon is. You see those like that? Yes, yeah, that wrench icon. Great. So you'll see the on where the armature it has a mask and it has an armature and you'll see right now that the armature is on so you just click the the camera yeah and know. click the computer monitor screen too sorry all right, 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 right. yeah right so you can just repeat your steps and go back into pose mode it should be manipulated. Okay. You have to select the the, the oh, control. Uh, yeah. Of course, of course. Yeah, it's just steps. Horse is a horse, of course, of course. All right. All right. I can move there and now G to grab. It should manipulate everything. There we go. Yeah. And then select the box for more. Um, that's kind of like for tweaks. You can select the box for better movement. So. The box that was surrounding where you just selected. Yeah. I can grab that. So people can see. You can press one to go in front of you. Yeah. <laughs> So it's it's rigged perfectly. It even has like the stretches to it for that exaggerated movement, that whip, whipping movement. Um, of course, um, how you would animate this is like you manipulate the box and the eye for to keyframe it. And of course, and the cool thing about it is that the bag. The jacket everything is um skinned to the rig but he, the little bag straps in front little bag oh the controller hand now you you there is a controller yes right where the palm is select the palm controller yeah the one that that's right under his palms of it the palms of his hand Right there is red. 
did. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can grab that and move that and it will move the entire arm. You can rotate it. Stuff like that. And even if you, you kind of put it somewhere awkward, it will stretch a bit to to follow. That's what I really like about this, the, the Rigify. Like it doesn't break anything. Um, so yeah, um, that is that. Interestingly, um, Swimming. all right, all right. You see, you see that right there where the black is kind of coming through the jacket. Oh no, I didn't see that. Oh yeah, all right, stop here. Yeah, all right, leave it there. Leave it there. Do that extreme angle. All right. So, uh, of course, this annoyed me. Cause like, hold it. Uh, you you spend so much time trying to model everything, trying to do, do it the right way, and it this still happens. Right. And this is not necessarily bad on you. I don't know how they do it in the biggest. I believe they do some it, masking. It, yeah, no, it happens in the in the, um the bigger studios as well. I've seen videos where they say, yeah, these things happen all the while, and you kind of have to the rig or you send it back to the rigger to fix it. Or they have to do some kind of modification to it, but, but a lot of times, the, yeah. Because uh, even then, um, the body isn't mo meant to move in that extreme angle, but you still have like some awkward angles that it will overlap. Mm -hmm. But I have a fix for this. So, um, just for a second, come out of pose mode and go into object mode. Just return to the top. Um, left hand corner, object mode. All right. Ooh, it didn't stay. All right, go back into go back into pose mode and 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 keyframe. Oh no, that. my bad. I I I was the one who moved it back, but um. Okay, well we can undo it later. I I just need it. I need to. Sh you need to do that to to show it. So you don't have to keyframe uh, it. Just move it. Keyframe it. All right, no problem. Let me just move it back then. Yeah. All right. So there we are. All right, so, so just go back into object mode. Object mode. All right, so we're in object mode. All right, so what I actually end up ended up doing is so you can select just that. What? what I ended up doing was yeah, I mean, using. Can you hear me? Hello. All right, I was going to wait until you hear me. Yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. All right, so you, that is the under. Yeah, I'm hearing you loud and clear. All right, great. So that is the undershirt showing right now. So you're going to want you to select me? that. Right. There's, you cannot select that black patch or you can rotate it and select it from the chest. It doesn't matter. Just have the great the undershirt selected. All right. So just like how we switched on the, the armature earlier, we have a mask modifier on the undershirt. And if you move over to the right hand side, Yes, the modifiers. Let's move on to that drop that those menus on the right hand side of the screen. Yeah, yeah, and you, you click the monitor icon. So that that's the one that says it's essentially oh. what it does. Is that, let me see how this thing works. So the the, mm. the the camera beside it would ensure that it works whenever you render, and the right. monitor is like give me the live preview of this working. Oh, so okay. What, yeah, so if you rotate now, you'll see what it does. It masks out all of the undershirt with exception of what is shown in the front. Right. Oh, and I do, okay. and, and so you can move the arms and everything. I will never be a problem. Okay, so is this a standard thing or you build that fixing? Um, I've seen other persons do it because I did the research and said like, oh, so I think even... I don't know if this is a standard for everybody, but this makes sense to me. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's the most sensible way to do it. Um, so you, no matter how you move it now, you'll never have that overlap. Right, and, I right, have, right. and I have the same thing for the arms. So it's funny, there's a point where when you have the, the mask enabled for the undershirt and the arm, you can hide the jacket and actually see the arms floating like gloves. <laughs> because it won't be there but I, I, I took these considerations and these are considerations you have to take when you're making a model for animating so it's not just about hey let's just make it look pretty you see it's, it's the same lesson that goes back to labeling 
Galeas. When you make a model for the use of other per benefit of other persons, you have to make these um, adjustments to, to make sure that hey, you can use this. So yeah, that, that's what I did. And of course, the here is editable. Here has each a curve, so you can go in and like the ear, the the here is not rigged for physics it just stays on the head and if you want to kind of smooth the hair around you can because it each has a curve what that i wouldn't mess with it because i i set it perfectly the way to emulate the picture so, so i'll just leave that alone um let's jump into another fun thing so we can you can undo it or you can leave it because you don't have to save anything we do here um, the other thing I want to show you really quickly is the texture painting. Yep, I can just bring that up. Uh -oh. Yeah, alright. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, I can move the foot, I can make a face, and all that. Uh, you can do all of it. Um, I can make it is yeah, sure. Controller is this, is this the controller for the fist? No, that it, it what that does is kind of do this kind of like a cream for the arm. The fist you have to rotate the five fingers, so each oh, oh, finger oh, has okay. so that little red circle, that little red circle, the one that's right here. I figure you're talking these rings, yeah. So, um, the, the, the thing about these though, you have two ways of controlling them. So, I think you have the R for rotate. So, you select it and R to rotate. Yeah, I, I, well, I tried that a while ago. Let me try it again. No, when you select it, yeah, it's in, it's in blue. So, whenever you'll know when you select it, if it's highlighted in blue. Hold on a second. So, for some reason, like it clicks in blue, then it goes back right. All right. So, here we go. So, rotate. All right. Now. All right. So, yeah, it's going to do that because it just rotating on all three axes. Axis. 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 Hey, hold and on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. What's that? Yeah, it's going to do this because it's just using hold the globe. Hold on, Eric. Hold on, Eric. I just answering somebody. Hold on. What's that? Yeah, sure. Yeah. All right, no problem. Yeah, go ahead. I can this kind of looks cool. I kind of like that mistake it means like it's pointing. But if you want to kind of roll it in, you'd have to mm. use the, the local um like the world has an XYZ, right? But when the hand moves about that, you can't use the global positioning for XYZ because the hand going to be in whatever position. So you typically want to use when you curl the hand in local, but it, there's an easier way to do it. Just press um rotate XX. So mm -hmm. you're going to use the local X axis, just press R XX. So just press R X X. Oh no, it has to be a yeah, it has to be a default global. Global and then select one and R X X. Yes. And that uses the local X axis. And the cool thing is, if you use the, the higher ring, it will curl all of it together. So use the, uh, use the higher ring now, let me see. Let me see that, let me see that. Yeah, that one. Rotate, RXX. Oh, that's yeah, a knuckle. Yeah, yeah infinity, infinity. Right, so yeah. RXX. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. So all you have to do is shift click all of those and just RXX and each of them will follow their own set of um, um, what you call coordinates and curling in like a ball. So you can you can click one, two, three, shift click all of them and just RXX and they'll just curl in like that. Uh, 
was the RX6 again. Mm -hmm. I can give my thumbs up. <laughs> it's like a, a thumbs up, thumbs down thing now. Control the wrist. Hold on, it's in the wrist. The wrist? Yeah. Um, the wrist, um, that flat. This. So, so what do you want to do now? Like this? Oh, oh. Yeah, actually, not, actually, actually, that's. You want to rotate it like this? Um, I'm not seeing you. I'm only seeing what's on my screen. So. That's fine. That's fine. Um, thumbs, up, thumbs up is what I want to do. Oh, you use use the one on the like the hand, the upper arm, right where okay. the jacket begin. Yeah, just rotate that sideways. So you'll probably R Y Y or something. Like that. The blue, the dark blue one that I should click. Oh, or, all right, all right. Let me let me click on this one and see what happens. Oh no! Um, select select um the the the, the ring that is on top of the jacket. I miss something. Okay. Right now, yeah, yeah. R Y Y R something like that. Yeah. Okay, so that is that seems to be the F K bones. All right, so here's what I'll do. Um, since you have that selected, go over to really quickly. Go over to the right. This could this possibly control it? Like, oops. no, those those are like the I K. So the what you're seeing is that the 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 I K and the the, the F K in the same space. Um, use the arrows. Use the arrows and rotate it. Why why? Uh, yeah, I could use that too. Arrows here, this big red arrow in the arm. Yeah. All right. Let's see what rotate why why. All right. Uh, stop. Yeah. So you you rotate that a little bit, and then you rotate the hand at the same afterwards, and then you'll get the full twist. Okay. Stop. Yeah, and that's good. And then you rotate the hand. No, the the one that you rotated before this. All right. No, the bigger one. That's the like the side crimp. Very bad. All right. Mhm. Mhm. Hold on. Let me give myself more space. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? There we go. So yep. flagging, no, okay. <laughs> all right so there, there we have it there we go there we go and if you want you can even go into the thumb and kind of extend the curl the thumb out more so it points skyward almost if you want it so i'm trying to figure out why all right so you, so so what do you want? Do you want the hand to kind of lift up to to do that motion? You want this to motion this pose to stay? Um, you know, let's let's do a lift up. So let's let's start. I kind of wanted to save the T pose at zero, but that that keyframe did not happen. So oh yeah yeah. Um, all right. Here's what I'm going to do. All right. So press A. Select A. I think that selects all. And then you, you press I, mm -hmm. oh, and you. And then all channels or only selected See? channels. I normally I, I don't normally select. The, I use just I just I use the the menu that you went into a while ago. I don't know about channels. I don't know if that affect affects oh. other stuff from the rig. So I just select lock rod scale. Oh, where is that again? Right, no, no, no. Da, it just passed it. That's like the fourth from the top. I feel from the top. Oh, yeah. all right. I see that. Yeah. So that 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 locks up everything. All right. I see the keyframe now. So now you can move to fifty. I right, pull to fifty, and then you're going to put um 
I see Alt R. I think it is. Try Alt R. Good. So that resets everything. And so you can keyframe that here and then kind of swap the keyframes, if you know what I mean. All right, so now you're going to pull up it. Can you move them or something? Yeah, cool. All right, that's new. <laughs> All right, so let's... Ooh. Slow motion. Yeah, that's the thing. So recently, like after, after, after having... Okay, cool. There we go. All right. Uh, let me just jump to that keyframe. And let's just add a little bit more. Mm. All right, six. Oh, no, I forgot the keyframe. In. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. That's how it goes. Alright, there we go. Alright, so here what I'm going to do before you do anything. Right? Mm. I am going to attempt. No, 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 no. It, it's just, no, oh, it's, no. it's going right. to fail? It's going to fail? <laughs> it, it's, it's not going to fail. It's, it's, it's just going to take a while to look good. Uh, how about... Uh, All right. Well, look, look, it's not going to be a simple it? walk cycle. It's going to be a simple walk cycle. All right. Here, here's the challenge. You do the walk cycle and I'll do a punch. I'll call it a, I'll call it a night. How about that? I will see who finish right. first. I, I I challenge you. Uh, you do do the walk cycle, and I can do like a karate punch like this. All right. And, and because all right, you know why we haven't even gotten to the face yet? Because it actually has blend shapes on the face. Uh, we so we might have to go to part two and part three for this thing. Part two and three, yeah, yeah. So yeah, because let's play around with this, and then the next time we can probably we'll have somebody new using it then. So, who's to know? So, um, okay. Do you walk cycle? I'll do a punch. I'll just see. Let's, can I share my screen? Sure, can you share it at the same time as me? Oh no, Even no, no. All right, I mean, so if you're just, having trouble doing that. No, I think only one person can share. You keep doing that, and I'm going to pull up mine really fast. So, let's see. All right. And at the end, of, and and I think, and I think, um, what's really important about this, because at the end of this. We'll both have um, two clips that we can add to our demo reels. This is like right. th that. This is this is the essence of collaboration. So instead of you drawing a character and spend time modeling a character, you make, drew the character. I model it, right? And we both can is like shared IP. So um, I think for, for, for those trying viewing, are you trying to get? No, no, I'm, I'm just trying to establish a, what do you call it? A relaxed pose. No, let me, uh, no. So, oh wait, now let me move that away from the body. It's a little too close to the body. I was trying to find that elbow control that I can kind of flare the elbow in and out. I, I know, I know the walk cycle, like I, 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 cause I've done the walk cycle before. Um, it I wouldn't call it difficult, but difficult to look good. So you just continue tweaking it to eternity. So how about we collaborate on this side? We do a punch. You want to do a punch? Yeah, no, you will do a punch. I will just I will collaborate. Punch. So right. so basically we do this. And probably probably we can kind of um 
draw down our eyebrows for the fun of it so so um, probably what you could do is um, what would be it? so what would be the relaxed stand for a punch two arms at the side like this like you know martial arts how do you set up for a punch hold on let me just do something here i just want to get rid of all the keyframes oh um yeah so no da, 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 da. all right so here's what i am going so to hold on do. just press alt r again please alt r alt g so what Alt does is resets everything. So you press Alt R to reset all rotation, Alt G to re reset all grabbing our movement. All right, all right, I'm gonna do a punch. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna do a step back and punch. All right, cool. All right, so let's see. Wow. And the good thing about it is it's going, it's going to be a quick movement, so. All right. Probably, probably to a fifty sec, what like two seconds or three seconds step. Wow. Um, I know you know the answer to this, right? Yeah. A way that I can select these two hand controls, right? Mm -hmm. And move down two arms at the same time. Yeah, does 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 shift click shift click one and then shift hold shift and click that one. All right. Selected right. right? Yeah, it is. All right. So if I go G and down. It's sort of working. Uh, let's experiment it on something. Let me just see if this works. Um, cool. All right, cool. All right, so what you can also do, there is a, a arrow, a small arrow to the top right hand corner of your screen. Yeah, no, lower than that. No, right to the you side. Yeah. One. Yeah. Is it yeah, that opens up a window and you just go on tool. Right now you're on view. Right to the side part. The side is the side yeah, the side. Oh, I top. see that, I see that. Yeah. Yeah. Man, why does thing have so much time? It is, yeah. And then you're going to click X axis mirror right on the pose options. Okay. So now that should mirror your movement. So you can just move one arm, position it, and it should fall on the next side. All right, let's do that. All right, cool. So I think that's what GX. Yeah. GX. Okay. And then you can rotate it Y. R Y. All right, cooking with gas. <laughs> Let me just try and select all these rings. My hands are this stiff when they relax. So is what R wire or was it R Y Y? Uh, R X X for this. R X X. All right. I right, don't need to be that curled. Does that look natural? Yeah. Uh, hold on, move, move. I think it's a bit stretched. Like, just move yeah. it up, move the arm, yeah, up a little bit. So there's like a bend to it. Yeah, yeah I can prop. All right, I can. Yeah, I think that looks natural. No? Yeah, that looks natural. Yeah, that looks natural. All right, so let me keyframe this now. Well, let's. So just just press A and just I and yeah. insert oh, lock rod right. scale. Lock rod scale. All right, cool. So I have our first keyframe. So, um, let me see something. I want to scale. I want to scale the the, the time frame. The... Um, just use the scroll wheel down there. Let me see. Ah, yes. There we go. There we go. Let's do this punch, let's do this punch, let's go. 
instructions yet i'm gonna try and figure it out so 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 this is like the final position that he'll be going into now like this is of this is the end the end point no the end. End, the end point this will be the beginning point okay 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 so watch me now all right yeah so let's see oh yeah might have to, sorry you might have to take off remember that remember that you have on a mirror so you might have to take it off to like get the legs to balance uh, all right great point great point all right fine let's do this all right so i'm just trying to figure it out based on what i see here so i see different controls let me see what this does yeah, last, la, last yeah. thing, last thing. Wait, no, wait, no, man, no, man. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, there we go. There we go. Wait. Don't say anything. Don't say anything. Um, Let me see now. We're just going, we're just going, we're just going to press things and see what happens. All right, so that's not what oh, I want. Oh, come on, man, you're killing me. No, no. <laughs> trying to figure this thing out okay okay all right all right cool all right all right it's good enough it's good enough no come on man we're gonna see if this thing breaks it's going true and we're gonna see if this thing breaks right. all right so I want him to sit back a bit. Getting, trying to push that, you know. That's actually a nice, that's a nice little like, pose. Uh, and, 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 and to tell the truth, even though it's low poly, I mean, the, 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 the low poly mess of it, if that's a word, that's not a thing kind of highlights the motion a bit more because like simplified form you can actually see the blocks and the cylinders so i kind of like that so let's see now let me see if this is a okay yeah it's a decent karate stance this is sort of like a um l stance not really l it's kind of like in between a l stance and a horse stance so we can work with that and I'm having like a tight key arms going. But we're not going <laughs> for tight key arms. We're not going for tight key arms. So let's go jump in here and we're gonna fix up the arms. Right. Oh, come on, come on, work with me here, work with me here. Because the laptop, laptop is just kind of sluggish, but don't worry. We are gonna fix him up. Don't get distressed, don't get distressed. Let's see, yeah, that's, that's, that's fine, that's fine. All right, so let me see now. So why are you going to curl those arms upward like? Yes. Yeah, so, like a reverse uh, fist. Mm-hmm, exactly, exactly. Okay, that's cool. Uh, oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, all right, yeah, there we go. Come around, all right, cool. We're getting there, so we're going to click on you little rings. Shift, click the ring, shift, click the ring, shift, click the ring, and final shift, click the ring. Let's see what happens here. So we say R, X, X. Almost, almost. This thumb is kind of weirding out, but let's see if we can fix the thumb by itself. Oh, oh it was already selected. Okay. Why? Yeah, because the thumb needs to be over the arms. Don't know if you did martial arts, but yeah. Mm. So, all right, cool. Let's, let's back out a little bit. 
All right, so we have our pose here. Hey, that, you know what it looks like? Um, the guy from One Punch Man, Garu. He has kind of style like that. It's like a combination of Tai Chi and... It does, it does look like that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, I like this pose already, honestly. I just have to figure out my rotations. All right. All right, so here's what I'm going to do then. Um, R O Z, not really, kind of. You, you think you need to, to, to keyframe this now? I probably should. Let's keyframe it. Oh, no, everything. That's just like. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Insert keyframe. Not right, scale. All right, cool. So, all right. Make the fingers flare up a little bit, and make the different fingers like a little relaxed. Like, I'm just posing. All right, yeah. all right, yeah. I know what I want to do. I know what I want to do. I'm so uh, invalid when it comes to navigating. It's really easy. It feel like navigating the world. You know. I was about to say vitiligo, I was like, nope, the wrong one, Kevin, the wrong one. Yeah, this big man. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Come on, finger, let's let's leave. Let's straighten this a little bit. Alright, and let's straighten the second one just a little bit less. Alright, cool. Alright, so we need to turn towards our Oh crap, I should have put Z, not X. Let's go get R Z. Oh no, that's not doing what I wanted it to do. Is it R Y? No. I said this doesn't control the neck. Or does it? This controls the hair or the head? I can't tell you. <laughs> okay, this controls the head. Perfect. Alright, so looking in the direction of our threat. And let me just keyframe one more time so we don't lose this all right cool so let me just test to see how this, this looks hey. right. oh that's let's nice even though that doesn't even that even though that has like there the simple go. interpolation that looks good yeah you know what mm. i would actually i would actually maintain this pose well, i mean we can for like another frame I would have maintained this yeah. for two frames, like a like 2D um, Japanese style, probably for two frames. Copy it over two frames and then release it. <laughs> right, hold on, let me see now. Let me give him a little bit of time. Let me see how much time it feels natural. Alright, so let us keyframe here. I mean, we can put stuff in between, but for now, we just want to block out. Mm -hmm. Insert. Alright, so now I'm gonna make him punch. Alright. So, well, we have to do the preparation for the punch, really and truly. So oh, don't over. Remember that to overwrite the keyframe, so move to the next one. Right, right, right. Yeah. Alright, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab his hand. I'm gonna push the hand out a bit. Oh yeah, build some anticipation. Right. And when I push that hand out a bit, I might pull this hand just back a little bit. Uh, let me see. Does the elbow go up or over or does it stay underneath? Does the elbow actually go up? The elbow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um I want to. Uh, I don't. Really I guess it. it's. I guess it depends if you're punching down or punching side. A straight punch the elbow should just stay like plumb. I guess. Um. Let's just keyframe this one now, just in case. Let me see if I like how that feels. So he's here waiting. All right. Cool. Him hips need to turn. 
control that so the hips the hips need to turn as well for it to be more realistic because power in martial arts power is generated from the hips okay and if you only use your arm then it's only arm strength if you use your arms and shoulders it's just arm and it's just upper body strength but when you use your hips that's mm. transfer, transferring power from the ground up in it's so, actually interesting because I almost knocked a girl over like that, just getting up. So, why are you beating a woman? What's no, wrong? It was, it was, but it was so <laughs> shocking how much power I generated because all I did was get up out of my seat. Like mm-hmm. it was like I was sitting and she was kind of sweeping the pew. And I was sitting in and I said, all right, let's get, get up. I kind of waited too long because I was watching her in my fur for all. I was using my phone. And then all of a sudden she was right next to me. So I said, okay, let me just get up and turn. And I almost support the girl just because I greased her with my hips. Because that motion I get up and turning. Right. I almost, I almost hit her. Even I felt the recoil. I was like, wow. That, that was like... So I agree with you. It is in the hips because... And trust me, like, I, like I, I used to teach martial arts as well. And like literally I've shown people like just your hip alone. Like if you look up Bruce Lee and the one inch punch, right? It looks mm. magical, you know. It looks very magical. Really, really all he's demonstrating is how powerful your hips are. Mm-hmm. All he's doing is he has his fist about one inch away from you, and then he punches you and you fly across the room. But when you really analyze the technique, you know, he's crouched down in in like he's squatted in a, a arm squat stance, and then he yeah. turns his hip and pushes his hip forward, and then the arm follows. So. You're really getting uh, all his body weight. You just you're really getting all his body weight. Like, right. like his ham, his hand is the nail, and you're kind of using the hip as your hammer. It does not get elbow transfer trees. That that's wow. Well, I didn't. Yeah, I always really, I always thought it was this. Like he was strong enough to just flex his arm like this. So yeah, mm. he, he understanding now. Yeah. I mean, definitely some other keyframes we have to go in here because, you know, 3D animation, you can't ever have a pause in the animation. Yeah, but it's all right. But, but what, I, what I'm trying to simulate here is like he goes in a stance and then he's observing his target and then into the, the spider verse. Because he's ready to punch. Into the spider verse, got it. Got the it. So we're just doing our style. Into the Spider Verse, they 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 kind of did like right, this. right. <laughs> so, right so. yeah. The time for the strike. Yep. All right. So what I'm gonna do here now is turn the hips. Forward. Oh my god, that's that 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 just movement. Yeah, it felt natural. That that's that's pretty. That, this is going to be a good animation. All right. So what I need to do now, <laughs> lots of things need to happen here, right? Mm-hmm. Um, here. So the first thing is arm. It needs to go straight out. Um, all right, one more tip. If you want to just move the arm, you want to like ignore one axis. So if you press G, X, it'll move in the X axis only. If you want put G, Z, it'll move in the Z axis only. But if you press G, shift, an axis, or shift Z, it will move in all both axes except that axis. So if you want, if I know I used it when I want to move something horizontally only. So I would press G, Shift Z, and it will never go up and down. It'll just slide across in a horizontal play. So you could use it for that. Let me know, but <laughs> we'll figure this out. So you can just press G, Shift Z. Uh-huh. Hold on. He said, all right, so let me go G, G shift B, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Right now, I'm trying to rotate a specific way. That's camera which All right, it's cool. Yeah, this is more like it. And I want to rotate it. Is so. No, not that. Mm-hmm. All right, so we can see that wind up, but now what we need to do is 
Uh, we need to fix the back leg and the front leg because really and truly what needs to happen here is that you need to rotate the feet yeah what let's let's do the front ones first i hope people stay through the whole video <laughs> yeah um, Oh, you're moving it. R to rotate. I should have moved this on. Let me see which plane this is. X. And I need to rotate it. Z. And I select it. Yeah. Uh, okay, cool. So now this is a problem here. He needs to move. lift the heel as well yeah there's a controller for that I think I see it at the back of the heel alright that looks natural ish more rotate a little rotate nope This blue one here at the back, this is what controls the heel, right? Yeah. And do I just rotate it? Rotate yeah, just rotate it. I, I think X. I look like X. Oh, okay. Alright, yeah. It, 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 it's not going well. No, X, press, press X, X. X, X. Yeah, to rotate this is on X axis. R, X, X. There we go. Um, I didn't mind that, that RX either because you know a little bit of mm. can happen. Um, can the toes bend too? Yeah, but the controller is that like a peak? Uh, is that peak right sticking out from the toes? Yeah, yeah, that's all right. Mm -hmm. The what? There's a small, it, right. there's a controller just... but it's almost buried in the shoe. Let me see. Let me see. Trying to, I think I know it's all home. I'm just trying to make the ankle not look so twisted. Oh, probably rotate that in the Z axis then. Z axis? Oh, mm hmm. Try that. Mm -hmm. Alright, can can live with can live with. Let me see now does he look balanced? Let's see. So his hips are here, yeah that looks fine. Foot kinda off the ground but no problem. Oh we need to turn his head. I would say this was a head control. Is it X? No, it wasn't X. Z. Right, yes, yes, yes. And, alright, let's keyframe. Before, and, you know, let's save as well. Do, 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 do. Insert, rod scale. Yeah, I think this movement have to be smaller. So, I think where you have it right now, it should have been actually the arm delivered. That is much faster. Yeah. So what I'm gonna do then is simple. I'm just going to just complete the movement because I was thinking that we needed something there. We do need an in between step for the leg. Yeah, but I mean it's so fast. You'll need to help already. 
Not really, but we'll see. We shall come turn around because I need to see where you're going. Yeah, you know the sad thing about this sometimes is that um you kinda do all of these tweaks and then you make the movement nice and then you realize movement take like half a second to two seconds. Yeah. And it's like what do I do now? <laughs> and that is one of the things that corporate Jamaica does not understand in terms of how you know challenging these things are like when they say um, how long it going to take to get this this thirty second animation? Eh? So um, two weeks, two weeks for thirty seconds. Eh? Like, well, you know, I mean, a lot of tweaking has to go into it. You know, mm -hmm. you know, just, yeah, you know, just and then press a button yeah. and it happens. You see what I say? All right, so I'm gonna make the punch just come all the way around in this short space of time, right? Because yeah, fa faster punches feel more powerful. So as you do that, yeah, I, um, I just discussed what you were saying earlier, like talking to clients. Yeah, sometimes they don't get that. And the thing that I found funny and I finally found a way to answer, the, it just came to me. So what I found is that when you go into negotiation with a client, they always want you to compromise on price and they don't want to compromise on quality. I've always found that amusing. It's like, you get telling your parents, like, no, they'll, they'll work out so we can't afford that. And then when you kind of do them a favor, they say, like, oh, this needs to be this and this have to be like top quality stuff. And changes, right? Yeah, and then a whole leap of changes. So, um. I will get that stretched all the way out. Um. I think this army has come up even more. Mm -hmm. Probably, probably the elbows up a little bit above it. I don't know. Oh, I think that yeah, I think that looks yeah, that looks. Uh, probably put move it in cl closer to the arm bends a little bit. Oh no, we're breaking a rig. <laughs> hey, right, key frame this again. We might yeah. have to close this off soon. Sadly, kind of enjoying it. Um, yeah. Imagine if you had done the walk side. Right, I just just you see know. What it looks like. So it's like, ah, fuck, it definitely needs to be faster. I'm, I'm so, telling you. Yeah, like, oops, I'm there grabbing all of them. Let's, let's close them again. Alright. Okay, yeah. So let's zoom right in. I mean, that's much better, actually. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's more things we can do to definitely show the power. Yeah, probably. Because, uh, let me tell you, yeah, that's better. That's the, that's the snap is definitely there. Like, look at that. Yeah. One. Bam. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, looks solid. All right, let's, let's turn off the overlays then. So, okay, I'm no, going no, no, before I turn off the overlays. Okay, yeah, yeah, that looks good. So, I just want to do something there because, I mean, right here is very dead. You know, we can't leave this so dead. So, let me see. Slides back into stance, and then he's waiting here. What we could also, do. maybe maybe I could do like a dip of the hand. Like the hand, if you hold over your hand, is is not like dead straight. Probably your body, uh, as he's crouching uh, down, the hand kind of dip down like. Oh so, yeah, well, what we will do the two things. So we'll dip the hand a little bit, right? Mm -hmm. Here, let's. Stand. Head a little bit too. Okay. Yeah, so it's kind of like, oh wait, that's a little too dipped. Uh, let me. So let's see what that looks like. 
it's okay. It's just a head look, a little too low. Yeah, yeah. What did I just do? Okay. The head dips just a little too low. Oh, what about rotating the head a little bit? Yeah, so yeah, the yeah. That's, that's really and truly what needs to, to happen. Hmm? What am I doing here? Way out at 20. Hold on, I was trying to control the Z, but I said that. Alright, let me. Oh. Alright, so let me see if I remember this, right? So I'm going to click on just the head alone. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to Alt R. Oh, the reset what... the head? Yeah, oh. But I never really want to reset it. I kind of wanted to bring okay. it back. So it's rooted Z, R Z, R Z. Right, R Z. Well, I never really wanted to go back in that. Let me, all right, let me tell you what I wanted. It to, I wanted to kind of come back to. Okay. Whatever his pose was here. I feel like him chin talking trim shirt. Um. Well, I think even you can use the neck control that he used before. Hold on. That just like posture of his neck. Let me see what this looks like. Hmm, not too bad. Yeah. There is a little unnaturalness about the neck, but... Uh, hold on, go back, go back, go back, go back. It's not too bad. Alright, where do you want me to go back to? Yeah, where the neck moves back into position. Let me see. All right. Let's go up close. Oops. Yeah, let's go up close. Oh, okay. Oh, I see it well. The jacket kind of moving, but eh. I, I think we can leave it here. We can moment. call it a day. Yeah, I mean, I think. Alright, so let's go back to object mode. And we're going, and then, no, the right. top, over to the, the right hand side. Over here? Yeah. I could... And then we can drop down, and then we... No, well, we could just click off all of them, yeah, we turn off bones, yeah. Alright. So, let us look on what... Alright, hold on, scroll, zoom in, is the, is the, this is the skin passing, passing through the, the uh, jacket? You know. Skin looks like... Yeah. Angle? Yeah, the skin looks like a passing through jacket. So select the skin. Yeah, so select this the skin or the head. The head. Yeah, and then you're going to enable and go over to the mask over to the right side. You go to the mask. Further over to the right. Down. Down. Oh here, right? Yeah. Okay, right. good. Cool. All right. So guess what? I'm gonna turn the bones on because I'm I'm seeing another um kinesiology slash um not anatomy problem, kinesiology problem. So the punch. Let's see here. Actually, no, it, it, it's, it's, it's fine. It's almost as if it's, it's finished, but not perfect. No, it, it, no let me tell you what. <laughs> <laughs> let me tell you what, 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 what's bugging me. Let me tell you, wait, why, why are you not going to the keyframe? What, what's happening here? Uh, what, 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 oh, 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 wow. Okay, Whoa. I don't know. wait, 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 stop, stop. I don't know what's happening. That? Yeah, so the that punch was so awesome it feels through his body. <laughs> Interesting. Alright, so You're we need right. another, another But it's funny that we didn't notice it. Yeah, it was, it was that fast. Yeah. Oh, I'm not in pause mode. Uh yeah. 
Alright, so. Alright. Rotate. Yeah, I think that's a good say again. Alright. Yeah. Okay. E. Alright, so. Because, so um, yeah. So I should even. That should have like the loop looking thing now. Or something. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, because what I was actually thinking of doing, uh, let me just go back, was just pushing his body forward a little bit. Mm -hmm. Let me see. You know, maybe I should rotate. I rotate Z to rotate his body. Is that right? I think so. Let's just keyframe it just in case. I'm, I'm, if, if it's not right, I'm gonna give up after at this point. All right. Yeah. All right. It feels. It feels. It feels fine. All right. Feels fine. All right. Okay. All right. Let me hide by the bones. Let me hide by the bones. Are we gonna try to render this or no? <laughs> no, we don't need to render it. I mean, there's a quicker way. So we don't need because yeah. to render it, we'd have to put like a bunch of lights in there and stuff. So what yeah. you can do, it has an option like in um, Maya, or you can I call it something there, render blast or something like that. Right. Right. So, right. So where do you want the camera? First, move to where you want the camera. Just position it. So well, zoom in no, and just. No, I feel like I'm punching lean, but I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna be mad at that. But yeah, so you say now where I want the camera? Yeah. Um. Let's see what looks good. Just navigate to the view they want the camera. Probably yeah. Probably that profile view. So you won't notice him punching lean. <laughs> yeah. Or you want to zoom in a little bit? From this angle, you know what? If you don't care, you can zoom in a little bit. Alright, so let's zoom in. Why not? Let's zoom in. And then how do I tilt down? Let's zoom in from the one. Um, let me see. Is it control? No. Middle, no, middle mouse button and move. Pan. Middle mouse button and pan. Middle mouse button and pan. As in like this. No, no just, just click and hold the middle mouse button and, and just move that. Oh. Yeah. Alright, cool. Alright, so how about this angle? I think that's a good. So no, I sh the reason why I told that because I know a shortcut that the basically. Yeah, so now you're going to press Hold Control Alt Zero. So do we need to chop this off at? Frame yeah. Uh. Five hundred. Or it don't matter. Prop thirty. Do it to thirty. So I have a look at Sounds good. I say do I end abruptly, right? Yeah. So now you get press go to the, the um you yeah, to put your hover hover over the main 3D um viewport and press control alt zero now. Right, control alt zero it is. Yeah. Did I press the right thing? Control alt zero. Or is it no. Okay, the zero on or something. Alright, cool, yeah. So we need to back up a bit. Um you control the camera from here. Alright, so the 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 menu that's on your right hand side right now. 
Mm-hmm. You can we on tool now. You can click view. I'm on tool. Click view. Further to your right. Further to ah right. Yes, this tab here, yeah, man. Cool. And then under view lock again, click camera to view. Under view no. lock. Oh, okay. No. Camera to view. All right. Cool. Yeah. So now, when you navigate the viewport, the camera will follow. All right. So now you can turn off that camera to view, and then the camera will stay there. All right, cool. Ooh, what's going on here? Was the camera keyframed? I don't remember keyframing it, and I don't see anything. Where's the camera? Okay, okay. That's not okay. funny. I don't see. I don't see the keyframe. Animation camera. You see any keyframes? No, hold on there. All right, exit the camera view. Let's go back on the 3D. Where is... So why you did it end up there? there? No idea. Control right. Z. Control right. Z again. Yeah? This is so weird. Hold on a minute. All right, here we are. And then you can click camera to view again to, to control the camera. And then click it off. Alright. Okay, so now it should be fine. Let's hope so. So I'm gonna press I, I think, space. I think, I think what you ended up doing is mistakenly clicking camera to 3D cursor. But before that, one question. What's have that? You, have you saved? Uh, not recently. Let's save now. <laughs> Here we go. We've saved. All right. So you want to put a plane on there anyway? All right. I think this is fine. Sure. I don't know. Up to you. you I, know, mean, I just um, want to get. I'll... Yeah, I'll, I'll leave the grid because it's like a test right now. I mean, this thing's gone on long enough, and I figure if people like it, we we do another one for them. <laughs> if they don't like it, then yeah. Maybe I'll yeah, cut if they don't like the yeah the the. the... <laughs> Probably we can cut this video up. It's like, do you want to watch the rest of this video? And this is, <laughs> this is what, the this camera is what is upsetting me. Space. Why do you press yeah. space though? To, to play the timeline. That's weird. All right, select the borders of the camera. All right, select the borders of the camera. All right, the borders of the frame, right select where it's getting dark. The camera. Yeah. All right, hold on a second. Yeah. Oh, well, let me move the camera back in place. Yeah, but oh. this, this is, there has to be some, and I don't see any keyframes, right? Right, I don't see no keyframes. So, I know how to get keyframe it here. Press I and keyframe the camera. Or select the camera in the outline, or you select like that, the little dotted board right. where the camera is. Yeah. Can it be selected? Yeah. It should be selected. This is the oddest camera ever. Is it because I'm in pose mode? Maybe. Hold on there. Go into object mode. Alright, so um, hopefully we can continue a series when I have another character or somebody else has something we can go through. But yeah, for all those who are still watching, you are the goat. Um, no. <laughs> are they just... Uh, are they the scape, scapegoat or the greatest? <laughs> the greatest. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Right, you know what we should do? An early release for everybody that watches to the end of this video. So, like, like put a code at the end of the video <laughs> for the faithful and then that code allows them to download. I don't know. Hey, but... <laughs> let's, let's see who actually watches this to the end. Let's see. All right. So you want to make up a code? Um, let me see. I would say the code would be Jan underscore sticks. Yeah, and whoever types that in the comment section of this video, I guess. We'll yeah, get, we'll give you we'll the get, link we'll to download it. All right. Sounds all good. Right. All right, take care. Um, yeah, man. Have a good night's sleep. Hey, um, I, I, st- I still have some coffee in me, so I can get some work done uh, before I wear out. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. Uh,
Alright. Um, next time. Next time. Yeah, man. Next time. Yep. How do you leave this? Okay. This meeting's been. Oh, um, I don't even remember. Oh, yeah. At the X at the top. Right hand corner. Ah, I see. Yes. Peace out. Peace.